Hitachi Content Intelligence, or as it's also known as HCI, powers Hitachi Content Search, a full-fledged search and data processing solution. It makes your data searchable, regardless of where it is or in what format. It gives you tools for examining, understanding, normalizing, migrating, and editing your data. This three-part video series shows how to install HCI onto an Amazon Web Service, or AWS, EC2 instance. First, we will set up the EC2 instance. Log in to your AWS EC2 portal and select Launch Instances. Choose which Amazon Machine Image, or AMI, to load on your new instance. The AMI is the distribution of Linux that will be loaded. The Amazon Linux image is recommended given its optimization and product support. Today, we will use it to install HCI. Now, choose your instance type. The minimum requirement is four virtual cores, or vCPUs, and 16 gigabytes of memory. Next, configure the details of the network, or as it is also known as your virtual private cloud, or VPC. Under the network interface section of your instance setup, click add device to add a second interface to your VPC and select a separate subnet for it. Now add storage. 100 gigabytes is the recommended starting point for an HCI instance. Now it is time to add tags. Tags provide you with organization for your cloud storage and provide additional ways to search your instances or set up automation around them. A tag consists of a case-sensitive key-value pair. For this example, the key is the HCI version and the value is its version number. Lastly, configure your security group. A security group is a set of firewall rules which assign the access to your instance. Once a security group has been defined, you can reuse it again across other instances you create. In order to properly access the HCI instance, ports 22, 6162, 8000, and 8,888 should be publicly accessible. No other ports should be exposed to the public. After you have set up your instance, confirm the details of your instance and click Launch. Prior to launching, you create a public-private key pair. This is valuable if you want to SSH into your instance. Create one or select a pre-existing one. Then click Launch Instances. Your instance is now ready for use. Click View Instances to go back to the AWS EC2 portal. To access your new instance, create an elastic IP address to associate with it. From the left-hand panel, scroll down to the Network and Security settings and select Elastic IPs. First, create a new Elastic IP. Click Allocate Elastic IP Address to assign one. Then, set up your new address. When you are finished, click Allocate. Now, associate the Elastic IP Address with your instance. From the main Elastic IP Addresses page, click your address to be taken to its summary page. Once selected, click Associate Elastic IP Address. You must associate the IP address through the Network Interface Resource Type. When you are finished, click Associate. Your EC2 instance is now ready to be used for an HCI deployment. Before we do, we need to install Docker on this instance. You can see how to do this in the next video.